Welcome back to another Logic Pro X tutorial. Specifically today, let's talk about how to make EDM chords in Logic Pro X. This is by far the easiest way to make chords without having any music theory or music experience at all. Here I am in Logic with the blank open template that Logic gives you by default. Um, it's the classic electric piano for me. I'm going to switch that over here to the, uh, the I like the Steinway Grand, it's quite bright. I'm going to close the library down here and I'm gonna get started with my EDM chords in Logic right now. Again, I am coming at this with no experience. Let's say I have no music experience, no music theory. I just wanna play some chords. So I got my piano loaded up. The first thing I'm gonna do is uh, we're going to go to um, over here where it says MIDI effects. We're going to go to the chord trigger. Now Logic has built-in chord you know functionality for you just to make chords direct by just pressing buttons on your MIDI keyboard even if you don't have your MIDI keyboard you can be opening up command K which will be open up uh, sorry which will open up a musical typing thingamajig here and we can start making chords right away so I'm gonna just use my MIDI keyboard because I find it easier but you can use musical typing like anything in logic there are presets so I'll go down here um, you can go to guitar voicings, keyboard voicings, parallel chords. Um, also under single, you have different types of triads. Experiment with all these, they're all cool. Let's, I like triads in the minor key. Um, minor gives it a bit of a moody vibe to it. Major is more on the happy side. So now you just have to find the right, uh, like, progression by just pressing one key. And that's a lot easier to do if you don't have any experience with playing the chords. We're gonna do a C. We're gonna go up to G. I'm down to F. So it's just these notes here. I can press them with my mouse. C, then G, and then F. 120 is this default tempo in Logic. We're gonna stick with that because that's a good kind of kick tempo. Just press record and I'm going to just play that one note on my keyboard. Actually, I wanna have that click on while I'm playing just so I can kind of keep in time. Let's do that again. So I kinda of have fun with that one a bit. And we can open up our MIDI and you'll notice it didn't actually write the chords out for us which is something I wish Logic did so you can actually see what you're playing, but it just did the um, one notes and then it's trigger triggering on the back end the chords. So we can go in like anything and we can quantize our chords by 16th notes and that's gonna lock it in. So this is what we have. Here's the thing, if you take off chord trigger, it's not gonna work anymore. So, buzzkill, I know. You have to have chord trigger on. And let's add a kick for fun here. Now we're off to the races, right, with an EDM song. Obviously, lots of work to do. The next way to make chords and to make better chords is to use to get to know a bit of music theory and start drawing your own MIDI notes in in a region and I'll show you briefly what I mean about that. I can draw another region here and then I can open up my editor and actually start drawing notes in with a pencil or a paintbrush and you have to know music theory to really draw the notes in or else you'll just be, make you'll yeah you, you need to know music theory or else it's not gonna sound good. But it, it doesn't need to be a lot of music theory. <laughs> Best way to start is using this scale quantize method that Logic offers, where you can pick a key that you'd like, and let's say we wanna go C sharp major, and um, we have a lot of options here, and we go to our paintbrush tool, Logic is gonna only let us, al allow us to click the notes, <laughs> click the notes, sorry. Let me just turn that up. They are only going to allow us to click the notes that are avail available in C sharp major. See, this note isn't. This note, these notes are available. This note is not. This note is. This note is not. That's a great way to start. And obviously, you heard um, it still made a chord when I clicked a note because I had chord trigger on. So yeah, you had to change 
turn that off if you want to use uh, if you want to make your own chords and that's the that's how I would start making uh, your own chords